Hello, my name's Andrew Patton, and this is an interview with Mr. Robert Zadar, the Maniac Cop. Hello, Mr. Robert Zadar is here, an actor in all Maniac Cop movies, and many other roles. Mr. Zadar, did you always want to be an actor? Uh, no, actually, I, I was a, a musician at first, a singer. And I was in bands that I wanted to produce and write music, and I did that for about uh, 12, 13 years. I wrote and produced about 35 jingles for uh, radio and television. And then uh, I finished up school, and I went out to California. And I did a couple more jingles, and then I worked with the Beach Boys for a while and then I worked for their production company and I produced one album for them and then I switched careers. Wow. What's your next project? Uh, next project, uh, it's actually untitled right now. It's a suspense thriller and uh, we're shooting it in Tennessee and Nashville. And now it's a suspense thriller about a crystal uh, killer and stuff like that. And I'm not playing the killer, I'm playing the uh, owner of a store. Huh. Cool. What's your dream role? Hey, if you weren't an actor, I don't know, you know, there's so many of them. It's like when somebody always asks you, what's your favorite uh, movie? I mean, I, so many different things uh, affect you depending on the mood that you're in. Um, um, I'd, like to do some more, I'd like to do some more comedy, because I started out really into doing comedy, but um, um, because of my physique and other physical attributes, uh, you know, they... Killing became very easy in the movies for me, so it was, uh, so I'd like to do some more drama, and, uh, just, uh, I like doing roles that have some meat and juice to them, that you can really make them three and four dimensional. Um, what, what advice would you give someone like me, who's a young aspiring actor? Don't get in the business, no. <laughs> um, I would say, uh, if you, if you have the passion for it, you gotta, you have to make other sacrifices. Um, you gotta study, you gotta know your craft, you gotta study, and work on it in your off time. Read a lot of plays, get your technique down, and don't give up. It's like anything else. The more challenges you get, the stronger it makes you as a person within your, with, and also within your own personal character. And that character will, will, will uh, transfer over uh, into your personality when you're doing other roles, things like that. But just don't give up. If you, if you, if you feel like things that aren't happening as quick and stuff like that, you just got to stick with it. You know, and there's, it depends on where you're, where you're living. Like in Chicago, this isn't the film capital of the world. I mean, they do shoot movies there, but not that many. If you're really good at your craft and you, and you are good and you're working at, at being better at what you do, somebody's going to notice it. This is my son, Strange, but when I watch, uh, when I saw, saw the movie Night at the Roxbury, they have a, a company in there. It's called Zadar Industries. And I, th I think of you every time I see that. Really? Same spelling? Yeah. Oh, It's a funny movie, too. Yeah. Are the Maniac Cops on DVD? Yeah, yeah Maniac, I know Maniac, uh, Maniac 2 is on DVD for sure. What was your favorite one? Uh, first and the second. Okay. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Robert Zadar. That's my pleasure. All right. Bye. Bye.